it's gonna be hard to choose. I am speechless. It's showtime. Then one shower down, one shower to go, and Auntie Mikkel duties are. Let's go. Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for a special vlog. I am excited for this weekend. Max, you wanna come say hi? In case you don't know this, my two best friends are pregnant two days apart, both with little girls. Um, this is my child. <laughs> and so I'm hosting or like helping to host each of their baby showers and it's time for the first one, which is for Kaylise. And we're having a Daisy themed baby shower. I'm actually starting this vlog a few days before because it's gonna be a little bit chaotic. I'm filming this on a Sunday and then I'm gonna go out of town for four solid days for 4th of July to Alabama and then I come back home and that day we start setting up everything. I gotta go pick up like balloons and cookies and like all the things. And then the next day is the shower and it's an early shower, it's 11 a.m. So we gotta be there like super early to set everything up. So I was like, I'm actually gonna start this vlog before I leave town so that I can show you all the things that I got because I got some really cute decor, et cetera, et cetera. And I also got some outfits to try on to see which one I can wear to the shower. Starting the vlog, going out of town for four days, coming back, picking back up the vlog is kind of the plan of what's happening here. I say first thing first, let's try on the couple dress options I got, um, see how they fit and pick one for the shower. And I'm so excited because I thrifted these and I got all these from ThreadUp and ThreadUp is sponsoring today's video. It is exciting. Okay, I've worked with them a few times before. Normally they give me a 30% off code, but for this video, they gave me 40% off of your first order. There's gonna be a link that you use and then you also enter code Mikkel to get 40% off your first order. And if you really like any of the things that I have thrifted today, they will show you similar things to the things that I ordered today through that link. So you click on that link and say, if you really like one of these dresses, you click on that dress and it will say, here's very similar things that you could thrift, which is just super cool. Let's start with this one. This one I'm excited for because it's like a really nice brand. This is from Likely. It retails at $198, but I got it for $47.99. And I think that this is a good contender because it's short for the heat. So I'm excited to see how this fits, but I think that this looks adorable, roughly cute. Okay, this is fun. I don't normally go for things that are a little bit more tight on my hips, but this is really fun and flirty and I feel more comfortable with the ruffles. I feel like that makes it feel not as like, but a little more like girly and sweet. And I will be nice and cool in the summer because it's short and no sleeves, no sweat stain. This is a high contender. The next contender is so beautiful and it literally still has the tags on it. This is from Lulu's, which I love, I've bought dresses from Lulu's full price. But this one I got for $26.99. This is a full length, but I figured, you know, it's like almost sleeveless, so I don't think I'll get too hot in it. And it is for baby girl shower, so pink could be nice. So let's see how this one fits, but I'm excited about it. Obviously the length is very like modest, but the V-neck I think makes it like a little more saucy, which I think balances out the whole silhouette really well. The back has like a V with ruffles, which I also think is so sweet. So it's gonna be hard to choose. And the next contender is this dress. Look at how cute. It's more of like a nude floral dress and it has these little like puff sleeves, but the back ties up all cute. Um, this is Forever 21 and I paid $17.99 for it, which is just such a steal. And it's like a midi length. So I'm, I think one of these three is probably gonna be the winner for the shower but let's see. This fits perfectly. Look at how pretty the back is. I feel like this one might be the winner because it just like the corset style back means I can make this fit like a glove and I'm so comfortable. I love the little slit. I am just a big fan of a square neckline. That's always my go-to. I feel like it fits my body shape the best. I am really so excited about this one. I think this one's the winner for the shower. I feel comfortable and like I can move around and I mean, I'm comfortable in all of them, but just like extra comfortable in this one. Oh, I love it. And then I, I went off of my um, focus because I found a couple things that I just really wanted to order. Yet again, another floral dress, but it's a little more formal 
This still has the tags on it, $95. Paid 43, new with tags, and it is this crazy, beautiful, sheer floral dress. What I'm thinking possibly using this for is I'm doing a photo shoot soon with my photographer friend that's coming into town from California to get just like fun branding photos for my website and stuff. And I thought this would be so fun and pretty. So I'm excited to see how that one fits. Ah, uh, uh, I am speechless. I feel like this is like a wedding dress. You know what I mean? It is just so, I'm totally, gonna use this for that shoot and get some really fun photos in it. But I've just, I've just been standing in this for 20 minutes, just distracted because I just love it so much. Like the detail, there's like, there's butterflies. This is all embroidered. All right, okay. <laughs> ah! And then we all know I'm pretty in love with two things, um, linen pants and made well. And so I couldn't pass up these made well linen pants. I'm really hoping they fit their size extra small. Um, so we will try them on and we'll see, but this is the type of thing I've been living in this summer. And do I need more white linen pants? No, but could I pass up on a secondhand pair of Madewell linen pants? Also, no. I just, I know I'm gonna wear them if they fit. So let's see if they fit. Oopsies, she does indeed own a new pair of white linen-y pants. <laughs> And last but not least, something saucy, but I thought this could be really sweet to wear out and about. It's technically from the Intimately line of Free People, but it's this really pretty like baby doll tied top. And I figured if it's too much worn open, it would even be really sweet with like a white cap sleeve underneath as like a layering piece. So I couldn't pass up on it. It was in 1999 and I, I thought it was so pretty. I am shocked that all of these are like above and beyond my expectations. I feel like normally you have some wins and you have some like, oh, it's okay, but all of these are like, this is so pretty. And I think it's totally fine with nothing underneath it. Like it ties pretty tightly closed, even though it does like slit open in the front. I would wear it with not these pants, but this is so fun for summer. Wow, look at how pretty. Okay, I wanna show you all some of the things that I ordered for the shower. If you watched a couple of vlogs ago, you know that I, have lost so many packages. I'm like, I ordered the cutest Daisy Garland and it wasn't cheap from Etsy. I have no idea. I think someone probably stole it at this point. I think someone stole like five of my packages, but we still have some cute things. Okay, first, this pillow. And that's so cute. I don't know if we'll have like a little cute seating area with like a chair for her to open gifts on or whatever. Put this on the chair for her to open all the baby gifts. And then I saw, let me see if I sell a picture of it. I saw people do donuts with like daisy fondant sprinkles and I ordered two different types of sprinkles and one of them was also a stolen package. So I'm so glad I ordered two because they took a while to come in and one of them is here. So I'm gonna pick up a very fancy donuts the day of the shower. They have like a brown butter sea salt and like all the different white ones. And then I ordered these on Etsy and there's there's like layers within them of all different sizes. Um, so hopefully we can put some sprinkles on donuts and we're also doing, I got some custom cookies made and we're gonna do white cupcakes and put some of these on them as well, which I hope we have enough now that some are stolen. I custom ordered these and these are gonna be kind of like the color palette for the whole shower. So we got green, blush, creams. She really wanted blush and like some like muted yellow colors. I also got just like the bamboo ones, because those go well together, in my opinion. And then back here, okay, these are gifts that I need to wrap. I got this colored napkin. I thought that goes well. So like little pops of sage, you know, wood forks and knives, pretty cool. Just like, you know, the nice plastic cups, that's what's in there. So most of the things that are here currently, like this is one of the only fun decor things that came in. I'm so sad about that garland. And then I ordered this. I'm gonna block out my friend's baby in case she doesn't want her baby on the internet. But it's like a stand where you can put all different types of flowers in it. And we're gonna do a build your own flower bouquet bar with also Polaroids. Kaylee wants to be able to take Polaroids of all the people. So I figured have like a Polaroid station so people can take Polaroids with their bouquets and then Kaylee's can keep the Polaroids for a book that she's making. I feel like there's still so much to do. I feel kind of bad that I'm going out of town <laughs> right before, but I think it's mostly coming together. I'm so excited. I really cannot wait to like see the cookies, see the balloons, see everything come all together. And hopefully it is a dream for Kaylee's.
So I will see you guys in about four days for all of that to happen. And in the meantime, go back and watch the 4th of July Fairhope vlog because that's what I'm about to go leave and do. Time traveling over here. <laughs>
and then we'll hang these and put flowers in them feeling really good and that's a wrap with day one set up feeling good we got the balloons kind of figured out we need to get a couple more things to hang them and add greenery to them tomorrow when they're all hung and all that's on my list for the shower tonight is um wrap gifts and pick up donuts in the morning and i think that's it i, I need to start work for the day it's 5 p.m so i'll probably be getting home like 6 or 6 30 and i was starving so i just ordered um chipotle to here <laughs> And I mostly wanted chips and guac, and then I got kids' tacos, but they forgot my chips. You know how disappointing chips and guac is without chips? So I'm excited to go home and eat more. Sorry for ghosting y'all last night. Good morning. I got home and I realized how much work I had to do, and I didn't even finish, but I worked from like six till probably 10, was asleep by 11. And I'm up really early, and I never get to see what it looks like this early. Look at how beautiful mornings are. Look at that sky and the sun's starting to come up over here. Wow. Okay, I'm fully dressed. I just love the back of this one. And I'm about to take a couple loads to the car, take out Max, and then we are officially off to get donuts and drive to the road. Gold in the air, in the promise in the strings. I see love in our hearts, futures in our dreams. It's a tunnel kind of vision, like alcohol's involved. And I stray like a hound dog, but I'ma come back when she calls. When she calls, I'll come to her. When she calls. I'll come to her, I had a dream, I had a dream. Okay, we just finished adding flowers to the balloons, and I feel like it does make it look just more of like an art installation. Made this little bouquet, and we had leftover sprinkles, so now they're confetti, which is kind of fun. This is our stash room, I'm like hiding so many things in here, but 10 minutes till shower time, so let's get the show on the road and enjoy a little, I'm just gonna get a little phone montage so I can be present, but it's show time. Then one shower down, one shower to go, and Auntie Mikkel duties are, let's go. She got ash on the dress and the devil in her eyes. West Texas disposition and the temperatures like mine. It's a tunnel kind of vision, like alcohol's involved. And I'll stray like a hound dog, and I'ma come back when she calls. When she calls, I'll come to her. When she calls, I'll come to her. When she calls. Does everyone want to see Max's new favorite hobby? He's figured out how to get onto the window. Like a cat. You're getting strong cat vibes, dude. He does this like every day now. Sometimes I'll just like lay there for forever. He gets up from the bench and... Do you like it? Do you like the views? Is that why? Is that why? Do you like the views, bub? I was just gonna unbox something with him. Is that okay? Can I put the camera right there? Okay, thanks. First off, I'm home at four. I did not expect that. I'm so glad because I've been trying to make up time ever since I had those canceled flights and um, I have so much to catch up on just work and stuff. So, oh, here he goes. Okay. Anyway, so Jordy, sweet boy, Vin wanted me to order in sushi. I haven't unpacked my suitcase. I haven't got groceries. I haven't done anything. And I don't think I'm going to um, get groceries or anything because I leave for Hawaii in three days now. I think I'm gonna eat up the pantry things I have randomly and I guess tonight order sushi from my sweet fiance, which still feels so weird to say. I'm excited about this. I'm excited to see how they look in real life because this was 
a link that I got from actually Kristen John's Instagram stories. She's posted this cute blanket before and I have, oh, is this a bag in a bag? Why? <laughs> I have only blankets back from my California home, which has kind of always like just given me the ick. I don't, things that I used frequently in that stage of life and in that home, I just, I don't want it. Like I just associate it with, ugh. So I got three of the same because these were on sale for $30, I think. 39 maybe. I'm excited to see. Okay, okay. They're smaller than I expected, but let's see how they, it's a very minimal checkered. <gasps> I like it. It's definitely more of like a throw, less of like an actual blanket, but it's all you need for movie night. These will go to Jacqueline or be donated. In with the new. It's bottom one's an EMF blanket, so it's not really for snuggles. Okay guys, I'm gonna put on comfy clothes, take off this stick on bra and get some work done. But I wanted to say thank you to ThreadUp for partnering with me on this video. I got so many compliments on this dress and I love being like, oh, I thrifted it. <laughs> so I'm gonna have my link and my code and all that good stuff down below. But Mikkel will get you 40% off your first order and my link will take you to similar things that I thrifted. Max is just, he's giving off real chaotic energy right now. He keeps scratching this door and then I open it and he walks away. Right. It has been such a week for me. It has been such, such a week, obviously. Fairhope was huge, big occasion. My best friend's baby shower today that I helped host, huge, big occasion, leaving for Hawaii in three days. It's just like, a lot of big things. Um, so I'm thankful, I'm feeling a lot of emotions. I'm also just feeling really tired. Like I haven't sat down and processed any of it yet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to work on that. Thanks for coming along. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I'll see you in a video very soon. So let's take all night, all night, all night, all night.